Hello everyone. Welcome to uh, the presentation. Before we begin uh, to my presentation, I would like to thank uh, the organizer committee and uh, Baharda University for organizing this uh, conference. When we start my presentation, the title of the research is Optimal Placement in Size of Multiple PVDG Unit for Power Loss Reduction and Voltage Profile Improvement in DILA Distribution Network. Here is the outline of my presentation. Starts from introduction part, descri description of the study area, problem formulation, result and discussion, conclusion, and finally the reference parts. Here is the introduction part. As you know, power system has three main components, that is generation, transmission, and distribution systems. And distribution systems can be uh, a complex uh, and can face so, so many problems like that of power, higher power loss, poor voltage profile, and higher interruption, as, uh, as well as unstable voltages. When you see uh, Ethiopian power aggregated power loss is 80.655 percent in 2040 Ethiopian calendar. So distribution systems can uh, face such type of uh, problem. Uh, however, integrating renewable based DG like that of solar PV to the distribution systems can has can be create economical, technical, and environmental benefit. When you see a technical uh, aspect, it can it can be used for reduction of loss as well as improvement or enhancement of stability and profile of the voltage as well as in reliability improvement while the task of the DG is supplying energy based on the capability of delivering active and reactive uh, power DG can be classified into four types that is type 1 type 2 type 3 and type 4 when you see type 1 it can s deliver only active power and type 2 only reactive power and type 3 both active and reactive and type 4 deliver active and consuming reactive power so the my thesis or the pv uh, solar based uh, type is uh, so type 1 dg as you know solar radiation and PV output power at varying time to time. So, forecasting the radiation and the photovoltaic output power using machine learning and deep learning and uh, use weather condition as input and satellite technology for reducing the intermittent effect of PV system to the distribution systems. When you see the gaps, of the researcher, most of the researcher did not consider reactive power loss as a constraint, and the test system is not a real distribution system, as well as uh, it is used a single objective function. While this study addresses reactive power loss reduction and multi-objective function, and analyze the effect of the number of PV DGU uh, unit without changing the penetration and study the stochastic nature of PSO algorithm for the proposed objective functions. Here is the description of the study area. Uh, the distribution systems located in Gedeo zone, which is uh, in South Asian National People's Region. Look at this diagram. This is a single line diagram of DILA distribution. Uh, this is uh, DILA uh, Substation, it can get power from your gallum. Substation and it consists of three phase transformer and five outgoing feeders. Among them, line one is selected for study because of three reasons. The first one is long total distance coverage and higher power interruption. And the third reason is it deliver for all types of customers like that of residential, commercial, and factory as well as it's delivered for a sensitive load, 
like that of banks and hospitals. Here is a single line diagram of Dillon feeder. It consists of 137 bus and the total distance coverage is 30.83 kilometers and the total load demand or, uh, is uh, active power uh, load is 50.793 megawatt and the reactive power demand is 9.792 megawatt here is the modeling of pvdg uh, DG is modeled as either PQ and PV. It depends on the type of DG and the uh, inverter technologies. The first, so PV uh, DG is modeled for PQ load, which uh, it is the same as that of negative load. As you can see here, the equation, the new active and reactive load is, is previously or old load minus the active and reactive size of the DG. Here is the problem formulation. As you know, load flow is uh, bread and sugar for any power system engineer. This means it gives the pulse of the system, which is uh, indicate what happens in the system is given by the load flow. And it is the prerequisite for whatever we do in the power systems. Look at these uh, two uh, diagrams. The first diagram represents single uh, line diagram of radial distribution system without, P, uh, without DG, and the second one is single line diagram of feeder with applying DG. And the active and reactive power loss uh, is calculated using these uh, two formula, and the relation between the two is indicated this for without DG. And when applying the DG, the active and the active power loss is changes to this formula. Here is an objective function and system constraints. In optimization problem, two basic things that is constraint formulation and objective function formulation is needed. So the objective function is looks like here the three objective function that is total active power loss total reactive power loss and voltage deviation index combined with the weighting factor and the constraint is two basic constraints that distribution line constraint and the dg constraint and give to the pso and initial input data which come from the load flow uh, to the pso pso determine an optimal output that is locational of the DG and the size of the DG. Here, parameters of the PSO algorithm and boundary condition of the uh, decision variables. Here is the uh, parameter of PSO algorithms with its value, and the decision variables, the control variables, are location and the size, and the boundary condition of those uh, variables are here. And uh, th th this table indicates uh, uh, evaluating different combination of weight uh, factors uh, are analyzed. So uh, different probability of weight are evaluated for uh, objective function and as indicated in this table. And the best combination of weight which gives minimum value of objective function is 0 .007 of, uh, is the minimum value for these columns and this value of weight is the best combination so use uh, this value for uh, changing uh, three objective uh, function to single objective function here in pso parameters uh, xi is the position representation uh, for each member of the swarm it's indicator here for n dimensional search space and when you see the, the, uh, in this uh, thesis, the decision variables are location and size, then the position representation looks like here, capacity and lock for, uh, for multiple PVDG, this uh, representation is look like here, and the position and the velocity updates using this equation. Here is a piece of code uh, for optimal placement and size of my uh, thesis, my research.
result and discussions. Here is a simulation analysis, uh, which is uh, uh, indicated, uh, which is uh, study in uh, MATLAB uh, softwares. Here is a voltage profile of uh, the systems with a different case and the base case value as indicated is a rear line it is a base case or the existing district system and the minimum uh, voltage is 0.906 at bus 125 here is when we apply the dg the voltage profile is improved and when you see this uh, the second diagram this is a power loss branch loss for all cases which starts from 1 dg up to 4 dg and uh, the, this uh, this axis is represent branch number which is 136 branch here is the total active and reactive power loss for multiple vdg units as indicated this bar graph then as in, in, increase the number of dg the lo the total loss is decreased however when you see at 3 dg and 4 dg the value is almost similar only the difference is 0.9 kilowatt and 2.3 kvr difference and uh, for 3 dg total size is 0.968 megawatt and 4 dg total size is 9.476 megawatt the difference is 0.8 kilowatt Mm. So, 3DG is select as the best case, as technical and economical point of view. Here is the convergence curve and stochastic nature of PSO. Here is the, the first diagram, is the convergence curve for uh, 1 up to 4 DG values, and here is the stochastic nature of PSO, which determined by uh, tuning number of uh, runs, and the objective value is uh, in the y-axis for different number of runs the value is almost similar here is the, the summary of simulation results this is a performance measurement that is active power loss reactive power loss minimum voltage maximum voltage deviation and active and reactive power loss and location in size of the dg for base case and uh, case 1, case 2, case 3, case 4, which means 1 dg, 2 dg, 3 dg, and 4 dg values. Here's a conclusion. In this study, PSO was successfully applied for different cases for uh, comparison of performance for multiple PVDG unit. As a, as a result shows, case 4 or 4 dg are good in terms of reducing voltage division and power loss in the distribution system uh, which means indicated such amount of active and reactive power loss and maximum voltage division is 2.142 percent however increasing uh, the number of dg can reduce or improve the voltage profile more until some dg values you can see uh, that means the total DG size of K3 and K4 are 0.968 megawatt and 9.7 megawatt respectively. This indicates K4 require 8 kilowatt more than K3. However, K4 saved 3.8 kilowatt active power loss than K3. So K3 has more benefit in terms of all aspects and the random nature of pso is analyzed with different runs it shows it has minimum value here is the reference part thank you for your attention